So here's just a look at what we're doing as far as our experiment to see which food we're going to go with, which food benefits the rabbits better, which is a more nutritious form, helps them grow better, stronger. Um, this is two that we have on the Pen Pal foods. We've heard a lot about Pen Pal and how great it is and how it helps their coat and it, there's less shake in the bag, there's less dust. Um, so we went and we found someone that sells it and we went and bought some. So these guys have a P on their feeder, they get Pen Pal. These guys over here get Row. Now these are all rabbits from the same litter. They're the exact same age. We weighed them to start. So once a week we'll weigh them. These rabbits get nothing but the row food. That's the food we've been using for quite a while now. Um, it is, it, it's good. It, we haven't had a lot of problems with it except there's a lot, a lot, a lot of dust in it. And we don't like that because then it clogs up and then we have to get in the feeders and we got to clean them out. It's just a mess. We don't want the rabbits having a lot of, uh, dust and if they breathe it in you know maybe that's where some of the allergies were coming from breathing in that dust I don't know but anyway um so and then these two in here have a mix of both the feed so we're just going to kind of see at the end of this when they're grown who looks the best who has the best weight gain um and and go from there and, and then we'll decide which food we're just going to stick with and feed all of our rabbits um, when you do different things with rabbits, you got to be careful with your feeds. You just can't buy different feeds and just change it up because rabbits' digestive systems are very fragile. Um, whenever we sell a rabbit, we give about a week's worth of food <clears throat> to the person that's buying that rabbit. That way they can mix their food that they use with our food. And... Um, that way the rabbits don't get diarrhea, get the scours from it. Whenever you change their food, you risk them getting the scours and scours will kill them pretty quick. So um, we definitely send food with people that buy our rabbits to make sure that they get them switched over. Uh, the first day we recommend you, you mix it um, a fourth a cup in your cup. So three-fourths of your food and a fourth of ours and you mix it and feed them because usually an adult rabbit gets about a cup a day, maybe a cup and a half depending on you know what you're using that rabbit for. If it's just a, a meat rabbit or 4-H or something you don't want them to get really big. You want them to gain normally. You don't want them to be overweight. So about a cup a day per rabbit. Um, we recommend doing that for a couple three days and then we recommend um, <clears throat> from there uh, taking it to half a cup and half a cup so it'd be half and half and then you know you just you do your concentration you do that for a couple of days and then you add a little more of our food a little less of your food until you do that for a few days until you get to where it is all your food um, I probably said that backwards a little less of our food a little more of your food um, until you get to where it's just your food some people use row and we don't have to worry about it but and there's so many rabbit foods out there from Purina. Your farm supply stores all sell different feed. So it's just a matter of finding which feed um, you like coming out of your pocketbook. Um, one that you can afford, one that you trust, one that um, does your rabbits good because your rabbits are an investment. So you want to make sure that your investment is maintained and doing well. Um, so I'm kind of interested to see how this experiment is going to come out. Uh, so far, they all look the same, but they're still young, and we haven't weighed them yet. Um, we've been weighing them on the weekend, so we have to weigh them this weekend. But it kind of looks like maybe the Pen Pal rabbits are a little bit bigger. I don't know. It's a mystery. Um, we'll weigh them, and, and we'll track them. And then when we get some results, I will definitely share those results with you and let you know what we're doing and what we decide. So if you've run any experiments like this and you've had success or failures, please share um, because I am new at this and, and I would really love to have a lot of feedback uh, to make sure I'm doing things right. Um, and I, I guess there's no right or wrong with rabbits. It, it's a matter of what you do, how you do it. And, you know, rabbits that thrive here with me can go to another home and not thrive. Uh, I've had rabbits that I've bought and and brought them back 
and they've gone through the quarantine phase two weeks outside of my herd, put them in my herd within two days, we just walk in and find them dead. We don't know why. Um, that's the thing about rabbits. They're, they're very sensitive when it comes to their digestive tracts and sometimes uh, you don't see scours until it's too late. Uh, the babies, you see it pretty quick because it gets all over their fur. The, the adults, um, you'll just find them dead and you don't know why. They can look perfectly healthy. I mean, you don't know why. So um, any successes, please share with me any suggestions, any recommendations. If I'm doing something wrong or you think I should be doing something a little different, give me helpful tips. I'd, I'd sure appreciate it. I hope this has piqued your interest and maybe you can run an experiment of your own to see how things work in your rabbitry. Have a beautiful day. I know I am. We'll talk to you later. Bye.